No, not really. They're both very different. Um, so uh, I feel different things about both of them. Uh, interior works very hard work. Um, it's a grind drawing story pages. But if I but if I didn't uh, if I had time off from uh, drawing interior pages, then, then I'd miss telling stories basically because uh, covers are just making images, and um, there's something very unique about telling. Uh, you know, copy pages, telling a story, having sequential images that create an overall effect, that, that's, um, that, that's a different thing. So, um, no, I, I, I don't really prefer one or the other, They're just, they just feel different. Yeah. I think it's amazing. Uh, in, I started doing covers for DC probably about uh, 13 years ago, something like that, and I was more interested in doing design-led covers, uh, hopefully a bit more interesting kind of, um, yeah, you know, placement and negative space and things that, that I was lucky enough to try on the losers at Vertigo that, that you maybe couldn't do on a, on a more mainstream superhero book. But I feel like since then, covers have just got better and better and better because people have access to, you know, computers that have, have helped a lot, um, but also just in general, there seems to be much more creativity in covers. I, I think these days than, than there was back then, which um, which I, th I think is uh, brilliant. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm sorry for the delay. It was it was mainly my fault. Um, I went off to I got offered to work on Star Wars: The Last Jedi, so I went to work on that for nearly a year which is what halted the, us going straight from Witches 1 to Witches 2. But we're drawing it now. With, there's a story called Bad Egg, which is appearing in Image Plus, and we're collecting that this Halloween. Um, and then I've got 10 pages of that left to draw, and then we go straight on to Season 2 of Witches. So it's happening, and I'm sorry for the delay. When do you think Season 2 will be out? Do you have like a uh, I, I can't say yet, but I would guess um, early ne next year, I, I would think. But don't hold me to that. Because, I'm not going to yeah, hold it. I'm not yeah. gonna hold it. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, um, when we set out to do it, um, I was nervous because it's, it's hard to do a good horror comic. You know, if, if you're in a movie theatre, you're kind of at the mercy of the film playing in front of you. But with a comic, you can put it down, you can skim the pages, you can do all sorts. So one of my main concerns was whether witches could be scary. Um, oh, well, thank you. One of the nicest things when people say it's genuinely sort of scary. Um, so uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've always loved horror. You know, if, if there's more more good horror now, that's that's all good, yeah, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I don't know why culturally that's happening. Maybe the way the political landscape lends itself to more horror. Um, who knows? I think if you're honest about it and you approach it in an honest way, you know, then then um, that's where the emotion comes from. I, I think uh, it depends what you're trying to get across. You know, with a Joker image, I wanted it to be as yeah as horrific as, as I could make it. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, um, it's 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 hard to say. It's, it's like a natural sort of instinct, I suppose. You know, is is uh, is what I go for. I try and I try and um, do something that I would think could be creepy. And then hopefully someone else would would, would uh, feel that that creepiness as well, you know. And with the Joker, I was definitely going for that something kind of dark and twisted. Um, yeah.